it's Mrs. Weber. I wanted to give you your assignment for this week. It's celebrating Earth Day. So on Wednesday, April 22nd, it's Earth Day. And um, on Earth Day, we um, do activities or talk about how much the Earth is uh, means to us or how important the Earth is. So I actually am starting here just because I wanted to show you something a little cool. So um, uh, last week, our family got chickens. So these are little chicks. There's 22 of them. <laughs> They're pretty active. And um, they will even live outside in our yard on, in a chicken coop. But right now they're in a, something called a brooder with this heating lamp to stay nice and toasty warm while it's still kind of cold outside. So um, just kind of something fun to show you guys with some new life in our, in our family. But um, I would like you to watch these next five or six videos of my family and I doing some different Earth Day activities and pick one to do yourself and then share it with us. Um, Mrs. Prowles and Mrs. Langdon and myself, we all would like to see what kind of fun things that um, oh, Mr. Goes too, and what kind of fun things you guys are doing. So um, go ahead and share away and have fun. Happy Earth Day. Hi. What do you have? Uh, my bird store. Yeah, we call it a bird store. So what we did is we took an uh, egg carton and just cut a little bit off and we're gonna hang it with some string or maybe even just set it in by our bushes. So what this is, is it's a bunch of things that birds can use to make their nests. So some of the things that birds like to use to make their nest is some twigs. Easton, do we have twigs in there? Yep. Yep, and dead leaves? Yep. Yep, some grass? Yep. Cool. Some animal fur? Yep. We do, we actually have some rabbit fur in there that we found when we were on a walk. Something must have gotten a rabbit, the poor little thing. But we got some fur, so we put some fur in there. That's one of the things that they really like to use. If you comb your dog's fur and get some dog fur too, they really like that too. Miss R has big white fluffy dogs, right? Miss R has big white fluffy dogs. Miss Vicky, that she loves to use their fur for for a bird's nest. They like to put it on their, their lawn so that they can... Oh yeah, what else do we have in there? We have some... We don't have some feathers, but if you find some feathers or some moss, you can use that too. Um, we also have some yarn or string or thread because that's something that, that birds really like to use in their nest as well. So that's something you can do too. You can make what we call a bird store. All right, we're gonna show you another um, thing that you can do to celebrate Earth Day. So Sydney has a toilet paper holder, or a roll, and she's gonna spread some peanut butter on it. So there's the peanut butter. And then we're gonna roll it, go ahead and start, Sid. And then we're gonna roll it into some bird seed. And this bird seed um, was given to us, and it really has a mixture of things. Um, if you don't have bird seed at home, you could use um, craisins or raisins, sunflower seeds. Um, peanuts, they even like little cut up peanuts. Um, we've even done dried up bread, so like breadcrumbs, or um, if you have some old bread at home or you wanna set some bread out for like a day or so and it'll get kind of crispy and crusty and then you can crunch it up. So Sydney's making a big old mess with that peanut butter. She's smearing it on there. Anything that's sticky would work. Honey also works well. So then Sydney, go ahead and roll it in our, in our bird seed. You want to roll it till it gets all coated as much as possible. You can even take some of the smaller stuff and get it because some of that big stuff just likes to stick. So you can even get some of that stuck on there. And this is to help feed the birds. They're going to be really excited about this in our backyard, I bet. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little string, um, put it through the, the toilet paper roll and hang it up and we have ourselves a little bird feeder and then we'll probably watch them out the window and see what birds like to visit. So that's another option. Yay! So this is another thing that you could do. You can take two containers of some sort. So I'm using mason jars, but you can use a bowl or a Tupperware container. Um, and what I did is I filled one up with all the way, basically all the way full with water. 
and then the other one I filled about halfway. So what you would do is over the course of a day or two, you would put your trash or some trash, not all of it, but some food waste and some garbage into this mason jar right here, into that mason jar. And then you would sit and compare after the mason jar sat there with, with your trash in this one and no trash in this one. And then you would compare the water and talk about the color of the water. Um, maybe make some predictions before you even start our hypothesis and say, I think the water is going to change in this way. And then you would kind of give an example. So what you would see is this would become our polluted water. And you can talk with your family about what that means. And then this would remain our clean water. Okay, so you can talk about that. Have fun. Another way that you can celebrate Earth Day is by using recycled materials to make a structure of some sort, or maybe um, an animal like Sydney's gonna do. So, Sydney, what are you going to do? So, I'm going to take these paper towel rolls and put them into this old McDonald carton, drink holding carton, and make like legs and the body of an animal. Cool, and then what will you do with all this other recycled stuff? Make a uh, fun face and a uh, head and maybe a cool tail. Cool. So Sydney's going to use some recyclable material and even some old seashells that we have to make some, um, make a cool structure. So that's another thing that you can do. Thanks, Sid. All right, and the fifth thing that I have for you is just going on a nature walk. Going out and just enjoying nature. We love to do that as our family, right? We like to go on a nature hike. So you can go on a walk around your neighborhood. Um, maybe bring a, a bag with you, pick up any trash that you might see. Um, that's something that you can do to help love the earth. Um, so I hope you like all five of our ideas and I hope you get to choose one and, and do it with your family. Um, post a Flipgrid video or a comment or email your teacher a picture and share it with us. And Miss Langdon and I would really like to see it. Thanks. Bye. So something I just wanted to show you guys is we have these lights, these heat lights that work for growing little sprouts of different plants. So we have kale growing, we have something called Swiss chard, we have some spinach, we have, let's see, oh it looks like it's just spinach and Swiss chard in here, but we have some little sprouts and some kale, we have little sprouts growing. So if you have any, oh cantaloupe too, um, is that um, you can do this too at your house if you'd like. If you have any seeds, you could do some seed starting too to celebrate Earth Day. Goodbye from the Weber chickens. Get out there, enjoy nature, and love the Earth. Happy Earth Day. Have fun. See you guys later.